time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are opening the meeting of the Dissertation Council for BMF 03010307, dedicated to the defense of SIF Artem Borisovich on the topic breaks defense system from Nikolai HS and its virus encoded inhibitors. Um, Система защиты Брэкс из Шрихи Коли, HS и ее вирусные ингибиторы. Submitted for the degree of candidate of biological science in the specialty 030103 molecular biology. Uh, the council includes uh, chairman of dissertation, council doctor of biological science, Atolhanov Zaila Nayatovich, uh, deputy chairman of dissertation, council doctor of biological science, Lazarev Vasil Nikolaevich, Council members, Doctor of Chemical Science uh, Miroshnikov Konstantin Anatolievich, Doctor of, of Biological Science uh, Gelfand Mikhail Sergeyevich, Doctor of Biological Science Lukyanov Konstantin Anatolievich. Quorum is present, Lead Organization Institute of Molecular Genetics of National Research Center Kurchatov Institute, uh, Scientific Supervisor Konstantin Viktorovich Severinov, uh, Doctor of Biological Science, Professor Center of Life Science, Kolkova Institute of Science and Technology. I give a floor to scientific secretary. <coughs> the applicant provided the following documents. Date is published on December 30, 2021. Uh, text boring text report uh, synopsis published on December 30, uh, 2021. Review of the supervision. Uh, Konstantin Viktorovich Severinov, Doctor of Biological Science, Professor. Center of Life Science, uh, Skolko Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, conclusion of the organization where the approbation was carried out. Uh, autonomous non-profit organization of higher education, Skolko Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, review one. Uh, Klimak Evgeny, candidate of biological science, senior researcher, uh, laboratory of re regulation of gene expression of uh, prokaryotic mobile elements, Institute of Molecular Genetics, National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute. Uh, review second. Uh, Manukov Ilya Vladimirovich, doctor of biological science, head, head of laboratory, chief researcher of the laboratory of molecular genetics of, of the center of the, for the study of molecular mechanism of aging and age-related uh, disease of the federal state and the Monos Educational Institute of Higher Education, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, National Research University. Uh, master degree at the Monos No Profit Organization of Higher Education, Skolko Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, Candidate uh, examinations, uh, foreign language, excellent, history and philosophy of science, uh, physical and mathematical science, excellent, molecular biology, excellent. The document uh, was submitted uh, and published on the MAPT website on time and completed the uh, requirement of the regulation for the award of academic degree of candidates of science, uh, doctor of science at MAPT. Isaiah Artyom Borisovich accepted for the defense by protocol. Voting minutes of the expert council for the biological science of the attestation commission of the MIPT uh, number B uh, 2021 17 date December 27. Uh, the website, website contains right opinions on the contents of the different dissertation. Uh, which were prepared by members of the dissertation council. Uh, Atolhanov Azail Nyazovich, uh, ch chairman of the dissertation council, doc doctor of biological science, professor, uh, correspondent me member of the Russian Academy of Science, scient scientific supervisor of the center, center of theoretical program of physical and chemical pharmacology of the Russian Academy of Science. Uh, Lazarev Vasil Nikolaevich, Doctor of Biological Science, Associated Professor, Head of the Laboratory of Genetic Engineering, Federal State uh, Budgetary Institute, Federal Scientific and uh, Practical Center of Physical Chemistry, Federal Medical and Biological Agency of Russia. Uh, 
Мирошников Константин Анатольевич, доктор of chemistry, chef researcher, uh, head of uh, laboratory FB, FGB UN, Institute of Bio Bioorganic Chemistry, academic uh, Шумакин, Овчинников Institute of Bioorganic Chemistry, RAS, IBCH RAS. Uh, Гельфанд Михаил Сергеевич, доктор of biology, professor, vice president for biological research, Skolkov Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, Лукьянов Константин Анатольевич, доктор of uh, biological science, correspondent member of the Russian Academy of Science, professor of the Center of Life Science, Skolkov Institute of Science and Technology. Okay, uh, thank you. So, dear committee, dear colleagues who join us online, I am glad to present you the results of my PhD thesis, uh, which is devoted to the study of Bragg's defense system from E. coli, and also to viral inhibitors of Bragg's defense. And I would like to begin with a rather philosophical and fundamental question. So can we imagine a life without genetic parasites? So in, in its simplest form, uh, life as a system could be imagined as a, a replicator molecule, so a molecule that stores genetic information, and that encodes uh, replicates, a uh, machinery that provides replication of the replicator, and this uh, process of copying should be error-prone, because these errors or mutations, they are the source of variability, and they allow the evolution to begin. Uh, but we can easily imagine uh, that some mutations would lead to the uh, emergence of replicators uh, that would uh, lose an ability to encode their own replication machinery, uh, but they still would be able uh, to be replicated by the uh, replication machinery of their kids. So this gives rise to genetic parasites. Uh, not self-sustainable life forms. And both uh, mathematical models and uh, theoretical works suggest uh, that emergence of such genetic parasites is inevitable and that uh, parasite-free states are evolutionarily unstable. So we also <coughs> know these genetic parasites as mobile elements and depending on their mobility and selfishness or the, their aggressiveness, they can be classified into plasmids, uh, transposons and temperate analytic viruses. And to achieve a stable coexistence, uh, self-sustainable or cellular life forms should evolve measures to stop the propagation of these uh, mobile genetic elements. But in turn, mobile genetic elements also evolve uh, multiple mechanisms to inhibit defense of the hosts. So I personally like to consider life on Earth from the point of view of this constant arms race between mobile genetic elements and host defense systems. And this arms race is ongoing for billions of years and generated an enormous variability of uh, mechanisms, which is quite interesting to study. Uh, so if we consider lytic phages as the most deleterious, uh, more aggressive, most aggressive form of these uh, mobile elements, uh, bacteria have evolved multiple measures, means to either stop uh, recognition by phages or to stop propagation of viral genetic material while once in, it's inside the cell. Uh, so the most common systems include uh, restriction modification, CRISPR-Cas or RBCD, so enzymes that somehow uh, recognize, discriminate between self and non-self DNA and cleave uh, viral DNA. Also, there are a lot of systems that can somehow sense phage infection and in turn induce a dormancy or suicide. Uh, this means that infected cell will end up lysing, it, uh, but before production of the phage progeny. So uh, such system will grant protection on the population level. And this was more or less classical picture that we had five years ago. Uh, but things have su substantially changed since that time, uh, mainly due to the work of Eugen Kunin and Kira Makarova that was published in 2011. And they introduced a concept of defense islands. So the idea is that if we would have a look at all uh, domains associated with phage defense, and we will look how they are distributed in bacterial uh, pan genome, uh, we will find that they have a tendency of clusterization. So for example, restriction modification and toxin antitoxin modules uh, have a tendency to residing the genomes together. And this uh, loci also contains a lot of clusters, conserved clusters of unknown genes that were immediately predicted uh, to be a candidate novel phage defense systems. And in the recent five years, uh, five years, a lot of works have been published that approved, successfully proved these predictions. And uh, the diversity of phage defense system ha has been expanded uh, more than 10 times. So on this pie chart, we can see that, for example, already studied like CRISPR-Cas, RM, and toxin antitoxin systems, they represent uh, less than a half of a uh, variety of the actual diversity of phage defense systems known to date. And even this chart is quite uh, outdated. And what's interesting, many of these novel systems, uh, they either contain domains of unknown function 
or is it contain uh, protein domains not known to be associated with phage defense before? So the system should employ some novel mechanisms to stop viral infection. And before um, describing novel mechanisms, I will first need to remind you about the most classical one, which is a restriction modification system. So uh, RM system are composed of two modules. Our first module uh, is modification module. Usually it is a methyl transferase that labels DNA of the host as self by putting a methyl groups. And cognate restriction endonuclease uh, does, not re uh, does not bind to methylated DNA, but instead it can recognize non-methylated DNA and cleave it. And usually this is a DNA of genetic invaders. Uh, what's interesting, among these novel systems, quite a few encode methyl transferases, but they lack uh, an obvious uh, restriction component. And thus they might uh, employ novel mechanism of phage defense together with this uh, known principle of self non self discrimination. And to be honest, the systems are not that new because the first system of this type uh, is called PGL and it was found in Moscow in the 80s. Uh, but later works have shown that PGL like defense systems are really widespread and they can be found in more than 10% of bacterial and archaeal genomes. And this system were called BRAX, and the BRAX system is the subject of my uh, PhD thesis. So BRAX from bacteriophage exclusion, and I am working with type 1 BRAX from E. coli HS strain. It encodes adenine methyl transferase as well as proteins with predicted activities of ATPase, alkaline phosphatase, and lone like proteins. And throughout the work, I will be referring to BRAX plus culture, uh, which means this is uh, E. coli BW strain with a plasmid carrying a native BRAX uh, gene cluster. And BRAX minus is a strain that carries an empty vector. So first of all, I need to show you that BRAX actually provides phage defense. And to study phage defense, uh, we usually use two types of experiments. First one is liquid culture infection. So here uh, we are monitoring cell density uh, over time. And we see that when we add phage to the BRAX minus cells, uh, this leads to lysis of bacterial culture, while BRAX plus cells are completely protected and continue to grow. Uh, but if we want to estimate the efficiency of this defense, uh, we need to perform an efficiency of plating, AOP assay. And here we have a bacterial loam on a plate, and we make a serial dilutions of phage lysate in order to count single plates, uh, single plates, and estimate phage title. And the difference in phage title would give us the efficiency of defense. So in this example, Brax provides about five orders of magnitude defense against phage design. So uh, the main question of my dissertation, the goal, was to understand how Brax provides this defense. And specific uh, subtasks include determination of the stage of the viral life cycle that is inhibited by the action of Brax system. Also, I wanted to understand the predicted, to, to prove predicted biochemical activities of Brax proteins, to understand how Brax defense works. And additional task was to study if phages may overcome Brax defense, if there are some anti-Brax proteins. Uh, but first, I need to begin with the result of my colleague, Julia Gordieva, in order to preserve the logic of the presentation. So the first question was if BREX actually is a modification-based defense system. So does it employ a principle common for RM, so discrimination of self and non-self based on methylation? So the short answer is yes. Uh, the system was created with prophage lambda, and then uh, bacterial cells carrying prophage were transformed with BREX plasmid. In this case, BREX should not discriminate between uh, prophage and the host DNA and should methylate prophage. And then we induce prophage, and it carries a fluorescently labeled capsid protein. And we can see that induction of prophage from Brex minus and Brex plus cells happens at the same time. And next, this prophage, this phage progeny was collected and sequenced uh, using PAC bio platform, uh, which revealed a GTT AG site of Brex methylation, uh, which is non palindromic, and this is very important. I will talk about this later. So, the next question is what stage of the viral life cycle? is inhibited by the action of the system. Uh, phage infection begins with the recognition of receptor on the surface of bacterial cell. And first, I checked absorption stage. So this is a simple experiment where we mix bacteria and phages and uh, monitor the title of unabsorbed phage in the medium. And you can see that there is no difference between Brex plus and Brex minus cells. Next, uh, some systems exist that block injection stage. So uh, I tested whether Brex allow penetration of the phage DNA into bacterial cell. For this, I used the potassium efflux assay. And the idea is that bacteria specifically accumulate potassium inside the cytoplasm. 
and during phage DNA injection, uh, so phage literally creates a hole in bacterial membrane that al allows leakage of potassium ions. And by monitoring concentration of potassium uh, with uh, potassium selective electrodes, we can estimate the velocity of injection stage. So here we have this experiment with Brex plus, Brex minus, and also a positive control of RM positive cells. And you can see that initial velocity of this leakage is the same for all studied cultures, except for the negative control where we had deletion of lambda phage receptor. But at the later stages, EQRV and Brex cultures can restore potassium potential because they survive this phage infection. So results of this experiment show that uh, phage DNA should enter the cell, and thus Brex proteins should somehow interact with viral DNA inside the cytoplasm. <coughs> So the most, the simplest hypothesis from this would be that Brex might act similar to restriction modification and could cleave bacterial DNA. And we can easily test the cleavage activity in lysates. Uh, for this lambda uh, genome was incubated, for example, with positive control, a core V lysate, and you can see the sufficient cleavage. Unfortunately, nothing like this happens when we incubate genomic DNA of phages with Brex lysates. Additionally, we've tried to uh, investigate accumulation of uh, viral DNA inside bacterial cells carrying Brex system. And for this total DNA from Brex minus and Brex plus cells uh, was extracted at indicated time points of infection and cleaved with a set of nucleases to produce a specific pattern of bands. So these bands correspond to T7 gene. And you can see accumulation of these bands in Brex minus culture, uh, but nothing like this happens in Brex plus cells, uh, which means that replication or accumulation of uh, viral DNA in Brex plus culture was inhibited. Additionally, I performed a next-generation sequencing experiment in similar conditions uh, because I also wanted to detect possible degradation of uh, the genome of T7 that initially entered the cell, uh, but unfortunately this experiment did not uh, produce good results. So this means that viral DNA is inside the cytoplasm. It should interact somehow with Brex proteins, uh, which would stop its uh, replication. Uh, so I decided to test which proteins of Brex system could interact with uh, viral DNA in vivo. And for this, I performed a variant of ChIP-Sec experiment. Uh, but here, instead of antibody precipitation, I used a streptac labeled variant of Brex-6 methyltransferase. So we had an E. coli culture carrying the whole Brex system and streptac methyltransferase. Uh, cells were mixed with HT7, and 15 minutes after this, they were cross-linked and lysed. And to achieve enrichment, of uh, DNA specifically bound to BREX-X, I prefer structure chromatography, which is plus IP control, and minus IP is just a total DNA from the lysate. So here we are looking at the fault enrichment of plus IP over minus IP, and these reads are mapped to the T7 genome. And we can see that there are peaks, and the peaks um, of DNA bound to brex transferase, they correspond to these blue and red dots, which are actually BREX sites. And this means that non-methylated Brex sites were bound by Brex proteins uh, during phage infection. So the question is that probably it's not only Brex X, but also additional uh, proteins of Brex system that could form complexes. So we investigated interaction between Brex proteins, again using streptac chromatography. <coughs> uh, Pull-down experiments. So uh, when we have a streptac Brex X, we can see its interaction with that. It's not very convenient, but many experiments were performed, and we can see it so, uh, over time. Uh, but when we have a pull-down with BREXZ protein, we uh, observe its efficient interaction with BREXC, BREXX, and also BREXB. And in order to understand the stoichiometry of these complexes, uh, I additionally cloned a twin strap tag to produce large amount of these complexes. And after gel filtration, you can see that BREXBCXZ actually exists in the form of a complex, and also this complex could be bound by DNA, uh, right after purification from bacterial cell. Uh, so the idea was that probably this BCXZ are the core of the Brex system that is responsible for its defense and methylation function. And it turned to be true because expression of only these four proteins, uh, sorry, allow partial Brex defense. So this is induction of BCXZ complex, and here is defense granted by the whole Brex system. And the question is, that what are the activities of these BCXZ proteins? Because 
uh, I suggest that this complex is responsible for the breaks uh, the fats. And probably this is the most frustrating part of the presentation uh, of my PhD thesis uh, because uh, I spend a lot of time trying to improve the in vitro activities of Bragg's proteins, uh, but the only activity that was confirmed is ATPase activity of Bragg C. And we also know that Bragg's methyltransferase and Bragg C, they are DNA binding proteins, and mutations in Bragg C, Walker A and B ATPase motifs, they abolish both Bragg's defense and methylation. So based on these results, this partial results available, I can propose a preliminary model of Bragg's defense, uh, which is um, which leans on already known models of Bragg's defense, sorry, uh, of RM defense for type 1 and 3 systems, uh, because the systems also form heterologous complexes. They also, similar to Bragg's, include methyltransferase as part of the restriction complex, and they also employ a TAPase activity, and this activity is required for interaction, for translocation of DNA, and two complexes should interact in order to achieve cleavage. So we know that X and C are DNA binding, and that ATPase activity is required. So I may propose that it is required for translocation, and in a minute I will tell you why we need translocation for Bragg's system. Uh, there is additional interesting problem uh, which is associated with Bragg's, and this is non-symmetric nature of these uh, methylation motifs. And this raises a problem because after replication, uh, hemimethylated DNA would become non-methylated at half of the sites. So how to avoid uh, the self-toxicity associated with non-methylated sites? And we know the answer because there are systems like type 3 RM and type 1 SP RM that also carry hemimethylated uh, DNA sites. And the trick is that they are actually palindromic, uh, but these palindromes are separated by uh, thousands of base pairs sometimes. So this means that at least two sites uh, should be recognized by complexes bound to uh, on, on different DNA strands. And these complexes should interact with each other in order to achieve cleavage. So this suggests that specific orientation of uh, recognition sites on DNA is efficient, so should be important for efficient defense. And I've tried to test this <coughs> hypothesis also for Bragg system. Uh, we cannot study it in vitro, unfortunately. So I've introduced uh, novel Bragg sites into the genome of HT7 uh, using CRISPR-Cas recombinating. And first of all, here we can see that introduction of novel Bragg sites, uh, novel Bragg sites indeed increases efficiency of Bragg's defense. Uh, but the major question was that uh, if specific orientation of sites is important. So for type 3 RM, we know that uh, specific head-to-head -head orientation like this is the most efficient, uh, while tail-to-head orientation like this would be less efficient. And this seems to be partially true for Bragg's as well. So of course, these are not final conclusions yet, but we see that uh, expected orientation of sites increases Bragg's protection. So here are some intermediate conclusions. So we know that Bragg's does not prevent phage absorption and DNA injection stages. It inhibits phage DNA accumulation inside infected cells. Bragg's x methyltransferase binds to non-methylated Bragg sites in vivo. And it also forms a complex, BCXZ, which is sufficient for both Bragg's defense and methylation. And also, I may suggest that Bragg sites orientation affects efficiency of defense, which suggests complex interaction. Um, another question that's, that's left for the dissertation is whether um, phages, whether there are phages that encode specific anti bragg mechanisms. And in the course of my PhD, I've collected quite a lot of phages, and I tested them all against Bragg's using the classic AOP assay. And we can say that uh, single-stranded RNA and DNA phages can overcome Bragg's defense, but also there are specific double-stranded DNA phages like T2, T3, T4, T6 uh, that are efficient in lysing Bragg cells, T7 as well as P1. So the question is how they do this, and the simplest part, simple answer to this question is DNA modifications, uh, because it is known that certain DNA modifications interfere, for example, with, uh, with RM or CRISPR-Cas defense. And we have examples of phages T4, T2, that carry glycosylated DNA, and they can overcome Bragg's defense, and also there is an interesting phage with uridine and DNA. Uh, but the more interesting answer is a specific anti bragg proteins. For example, phage T7 is known to encode DNA mimic OCR, which is an inhibitor of type 1 RM systems. And I have shown that OCR is also an inhibitor of Bragg's, uh, because expression of OCR from plasmids inhibits Bragg's defense against different phages. So the question was, um, what is the target of 
of OCR inside black cells. And for this, I performed a pull-down experiment with streptac labeled OCR. And as an internal control, um, we use interaction of OCR with type 1 ion components M and S. So in pull-down, we see this already known interaction. But when we add Bragg's plasmid, we can see that an additional band could be purified, which is Bragg's methyl transferase. And vice versa, when we have streptact methyl transferase, we can purify OCR. So does OCR inhibit Bragg's methylation? Uh, for this, I performed PAC biosequencing experiment. And we can see that indeed expression of OCR uh, suppressed Bragg's methylation, as well as ECO-K1 methylation, which is expected. Um, but a specific mutant of OCR was found that did not affect Bragg's methylation, uh, which suggests that OCR action on Bragg's uh, should be more specific for the uh, defense stage. Uh, it does not act through inhibition of methylation. Another anti Bragg's protein, which is probably more interesting, is for HT3 sunlakes. T3 is a relative of T7, but it encodes another anti restriction protein, which is an enzyme that cleaves some as adenosine methylene. And some is required for some type of restriction systems as a cofactor of restriction complexes. So uh, we have shown that deletion of gene 0 0.3 encoding some A's uh, does not allow for HT3 to infect Bragg cells, similar to gene 0 0.3 from T cell. And expression of some A's inhibited Bragg's defense, even when we had a low level of inducer for some A's expression. So the question was that, does some A's act through inhibition of methylation? Again, we performed PAC biosequencing. You could see the results here. And as expected, some ACE expression inhibited ECOCA1 and DAM methylation because both of them are some dependent. But surprisingly, Bragg's defense was only slightly affected. So <coughs> this suggested the effect of some ACE of on Bragg's might be through, again, inhibition of uh, defense stage and that Bragg's complexes might be some dependent. Uh, OK. I will skip this part, probably. And, but still, there was an additional interesting question associated with some ACE, uh, which is an existence of catalytically deficient mutants, so mutants that cannot cleave some, uh, some but still are active as anti-restriction proteins. So we've tried to obtain such mutants and test their anti bracts activity. And indeed, we mutated quite a lot of uh, conserved amino acid residues. And this reduced Bragg's defense but did not eliminate it completely. And we have proven that some of these mutants are indeed catalytically inactive. Uh, from this, uh, we used in vitro some cleavage assay. Uh, when we, on HPLC column, can track uh, some and one of the products of its, of its cleavage MTA, and you can see that when we have some ACE, it produces quite a lot of MTA. Uh, but when we have uh, this mutant of some ACE, it does not produce MTA at all. So, but this mutant of some ACE still was active as an anti protein, which suggested an existence of additional anti mechanisms. And to investigate whether some ACE could interact with other proteins inside the cell, again, we performed streptac pull-down experiments and found that some ACE interacts with quite a few host proteins, which include MET-K synthase. Again, this interaction was confirmed. Uh, when we had MET-K, it could be streptac MET-K, it could be co-purified with some ACE. So this suggests that some ACE might also inhibit some synthesis. And thus, this is a two-pronged enzyme that have two independent mechanisms to lower some concentration. Um, well, unfortunately for us, this hypothesis was proven uh, by a group of Dr. Bernstein in Israel, who also discovered interaction of some ACE with some synthase. But they did not study uh, this interaction in a constant, in a context of anti-restriction or fragile defense systems inhibition. So anyway, uh, we collaborated with doctor, with group of Dr. Maria Selmer from Sweden, and obtained purified this complex, and our colleagues obtained a cryo ion structure, which is now a result of high resolution, and this is just a preliminary picture that shows this tetramer of uh, MET-K bound by four sunrise monomers. And we are continuing to study this interaction to understand its role in uh, Brax inhibition. So this is a model of some ACE anti brax activity. Uh, some LAs cleave some, but also inhibit synthesis of some. Uh, also, we found the interaction of some ACE with MET-E, which is a penultimate stage of some synthesis. But we still don't know if it's inhibitory. And uh, 
lowering the sum level uh, leads to suppressed Brex defense, but uh, what is more, more important to inhibition of Brex defense because we suggest that some complexes might be sum dependent. And this is the last slide of the presentation. So since we found uh, two known anti-RM proteins that were also active as anti-Brex proteins, I've decided to clone and test an additional series of known or predicted anti-restriction proteins. So about 17 of them were tested. And we investigated using an AOP assay, they affect again Brex, type 1 RM, type 3 RM, and even CRISPR-Cas. And in the process, we found a few novel potential candidates to study. For example, DAR system of the FHP1, uh, which is currently investigating in our, in our laboratory. So conclusions about anti-restriction proteins include uh, that DNA modification, first of all, can interfere with Brex defense. Uh, Anti-Brex proteins exist. For example, the 7 dna mimic OCR inhibit Brex defense and methylation by binding to Brex 6 methyltransferase. Uh, some lase inhibits Brex defense through lowering available some pool. And it does so in two mechanisms. First one is catalytic cleavage, and additional one is inhibition of some synthesis. So thank you for the attention. I will end my presentation here. Thanks. Uh, there are several uh, questions and comments uh, in your dissertation. Atulhanov is ill in Yasevich. Uh, there are some uh, uh, typographical errors in the dissertation that need to be corrected in the future use of its materials. Uh, the presentation like uh, about why for the subject in several places uh, in the manuscript. Sometimes the author is fond uh, of not very important de details. It's comment. Uh, Lazar Vasil Nikolaevich, author, uh, reported that in vitro activity assay were conducted uh, for all Brex protein with predicted uh, catalytic uh, motifs. Uh, also, the positive result was obtained only for the active ACE assay this uh, Brex protein. How an author can explain the lack on the in vitro activity of Brex protein and it's possible that they perform additional function inside itself? Uh, yes, I can answer to this question. Thank you. Uh, so why Brex proteins lack uh, predicted in vitro activities? So first possible explanation is that these predictions might be wrong. For example, I'm completely sure that Brex L, which has a long like protease fault, uh, could not perform a protease activity because it lacks a conserved sort of catalytic residues known for long like proteases. So it might be it might perform some additional function. Uh, the second explanation, uh, which I hope is correct, and we are trying to test this at the moment, is this these proteins uh, might be active only in the form of a complexes, and uh, they do not have I don't know correct conformation to perform activities. Uh, in uh, the native forms, so in the monomeric form. Uh, we know that this is uh, the case for many defense systems, for example, again, type 1 RM, uh, which combines many activities, methyl transferase restriction, a TPase activity for translocation. And uh, a HSDR subunit, which is an endonuclease, could not cleave DNA on its own. It should be assembled in the form of the whole complex. Again, uh, methyl transferase could not methylate DNA without additional proteins, uh, which uh, give specificity. And this is also true for some novel system like DND and DISARM. So we suggest that uh, assembly of the correct uh, Brex proteins will allow us to uh, determine and prove the predicted activities. On figure 22. Uh, sorry, and there okay. was a second part of this question about okay. possible additional activities. Uh, yeah, so uh, besides these predicted activities, it is uh, truly possible that Brex encodes some additional domains. So, for example, here we can see that uh, Brex C uh, contains this predicted ATPase domain, but the second part of the protein uh, does not contain any uh, known motifs or domains. So, Brex proteins are quite large, more than uh, 1,200 uh, amino acids. And it could be possible that these domains are required for the interaction, or they, they might encode some additional uh, catalytic or functional modules. And one of the glimpses of this activity is protein Brex C, which I uh, suggest that might be responsible for the Brex restriction. So I had this assay, which I'm not completely sure about, uh, but of course I tested all of Brex proteins also for nuclease activity, and we found uh, that Brex C could cleave DNA, uh, and the, but I'm not sure that it's not a result of contamination. 
So in the presence of uh, magnesium ions, it can cleave DNA. Without magnesium ions, it just binds DNA. And a recent work was published uh, just a few months ago about Bragg system from Salmonella, uh, which found uh, R minus M plus phenotype of Bragg's, which is really important because none of Bragg's genes deletions provide R minus M plus phenotype. And this phenotype was observed for Bragg's C gene, so some specific point mutation in Bragg's C, uh, still allowed to preserve methylation activity, but inhibit restriction, which should mean that Bragg's C is uh, an active restriction component. Restriction. So, I mean, in general terms, of inhibition of phage defense. On the, on, on the figure 22A and in some other experiments, uh, the optical density on Bragg's uh, cultures uh, does not drop uh, to zero, uh, even in conditions when Bragg's uh, defense in, uh, in effect sense. How the author can explain this uh, residual optical density observed uh, after the leases of the majority of Bragg cells? Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. So we have this phenomenon that when we infect Brex minus cells with FH, the lysis is complete, uh, but when we have um, ex in infection of Brex plus cells, yeah, some uh, residual optical density remains. And so this could have few possible explanations, like existence of persistent like cells, uh, but the most probable one is that uh, these cells, they stopped phage infection, but they also were killed in the process of expression of some phage genes, so phage T7, for example, encodes nucleases that degrade host genome. So uh, this means that these cells are dead, but they not end up lysing. And at one point, I investigated whether the cells are alive, so I've tried to uh, replace them, account the amount of alive cells, and less than 10% of the cells could restore growth. Experiments about the modification inhibition, uh, this OCI or SMASA protein indicated that ECOCI methylation is more sensitive to the presence of those inhibitors uh, compared to Brex methylation. How an author can explain this difference? Uh, yes, thank you for the question. So when we have expression of OCR or SMAs, um, we at the same time can uh, monitor uh, the methylation status of both Brex and ECOCA1. And in both cases, ECOC1 was inhibited to a higher extent. So it might be quite puzzling, but um, the most likely explanation is that Brex methyl transferase is more abundant inside a bacterial cell because ECOC1 and DAM are encoded on the chromosome, uh, while Brex is encoded from plasmid, and we can have quite a large amount of Brex methylation complexes. So in competition for some, for example, uh, Brex methylase should win uh, ECOC1 methylase. And I may add a small additional comment regarding how uh, this efficiency of modification was measured because uh, it again, <coughs> because it is quite arbitrary and it depends on how we estimate what site is methylated and what site is not methylated. So we used PAC biosequencing and the method uh, of detection of modifications in this uh, single molecule real-time sequencing is based on the pauses. Uh, in uh, obtaining a fluorescent signal after introduction of specific uh, novel nucleotides. So if the template is modified, uh, it will uh, stop polymerase, it will introduce a pause to the polymerase, which is called interpulse duration. And this increased interpulse duration ratio could be interpreted as modifications. And if you would look at the real pac statistics, uh, which is presented here, so these are actual IPD ratios, uh, we can see that even when we have some ACE expression, uh, it inhibits Brex defense, but we just have this um, uh, set up the threshold at the stage when uh, we consider that most of the sites are modified. But both some ACE and uh, OCR uh, suppress Brex defense to some extent. Thanks. <coughs> Trošnikov Konstantin Anatolievich. Uh, there are other results uh, present and uh, analyzed clearly, uh, convincingly. No measure is uh, uh, formulated through the particle parts of the dissertation. The literature review contains some minor unclarities and dis disputable points, but does not uh, deprecate the value of the work done. Uh, Gerfant Mikhail Sergeyevich. Uh, the closest uh, Brzex uh, homologue in uh, ML enzyme uh, 16 coverage uh, 
16 similarity. Uh, is this level of similarity significant? Uh, is this similarity reliable? Um, yes, thank you for the question. So probably it's just the lack of my uh, proper bioinformatic background in protein bioinformatics. So it was rather a mistake uh, because to make these predictions and uh, describe the uh, predicted catalytic activities of Brex proteins and similarity, I used HHPRED server uh, as a, a major tool. And it is actually 18% uh, identities between, for example, Brex X and MMEA1 uh, methyltransferase. Uh, but similarity for each spread is based on the similarity of predicted secondary structure. So, uh, yeah, I would say that this is really significant uh, observation about the similarity between these proteins. And also, uh, so at the time of my presentation, AlphaFold, uh, sorry, at the time of writing of my dissertation, AlphaFold was not yet released. But later, I performed uh, modeling of all Brex proteins and also performed a daily search to compare the 3D structures. And here is, for example, uh, this comparison between BRAX-X and MMEA1. So here in gray we have MMEA1 bound to DNA complex, and in this brown, this is BRAX-X. We see that N and third terminal parts of BRAX-X does not align, but the core material transferase uh, domain of BRAX-X and MMEA1 align pretty well. Then, despite high similarity along almost all protein sequence, uh, it is not a contraction. Uh, 16 is not all sequence, uh, 16 is not high. Future below, page uh, 81, uh, 15 similarity, this uh, DNA binding domain is used uh, to predict the right uh, specific function without uh, much more detailed this analysis and probably some structural modeling. Uh, this prediction remains uh, rather big. Uh, yes, thank you for the comment. So, uh, yeah, I agree that it was incorrect use of terms, uh, but I already explained that uh, these predictions also were, to some extent, confirmed by uh, structural based modeling of Brex projects. Uh, yeah, I, I had a, 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 a very small question uh, inspired by this uh, uh, modeling. So you have demonstrated the model of the complex of SAMase and uh, MET-K, which was done using cryo-EM. And you have stated that it was uh, acquired with high resolution. Uh, just a small question, how high was the resolution? And uh, the small sub-question is, uh, if you try to superimpose this model with the DNA, how does it fit? How well does it fit with the complex? Yes, right here. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so for the So you question. see that the density, the density of the cryo-EM uh, allows some flexibility of the elements of the secondary structure. So how precise is the positioning, especially in the complex? Uh, yes, thank you for this question. Um, so this picture that I'm showing, it's actually very pre preliminary, so it was obtained uh, about one year ago. And with cryo-EM, as I understand, because it was not done by myself, but uh, by our colleagues at Sweden, uh, the resolution depends on the efficiency of your reconstruction, so uh, mathemat mathemat mathematical processing of uh, initially obtained data. So uh, this initial picture that I'm showing was updated and they reported that probably about 1.5 angstrom resolution uh, can be uh, obtained for this uh, complex at the moment. Okay. And did you try to apply the alpha fold uh, to model it later on? Uh, so this complex is about Brex inhibitor, uh, some ACE bound to uh -huh. MET-K, some synthase. So it does not... Uh, directly related to Brex system, it's just an additional mechanism that we found that could contribute to inhibition of Brex defense. So I personally did not try to model this complex uh, because we have, uh, yeah, because this part of work uh, was done by our colleagues. Okay, thank you. It's just for curiosity. It's yep. not related directly for the topic of the report, but it's nice. Thank you. The English language in the dissertation is far from perfect. 
Uh, here is a typical example from a random place, page 81. The function of C terminal half uh, could not be ruled out so far, probably deduced or predicted. Uh, and uh, one more TFS of IM system do not belong to AAA family and uh, does not shape gamology of this uh, breaks C. Uh, distance structural uh, gamology on page uh, 84 should be a distance structural similarity as uh, gamology by definition as common ancestry. Yeah, thank you for the comment. Yeah, it's just a mistake. So, uh, a slightly more important problem is that the narrative is structured as history rather than a story. While uh, it uh, probably yield uh, a more interesting reading, and it is not always simple to distinguish between a strong final conclusion coming from the observation. Uh, primarily, uh, hypothesis arises from the literature of uh, previous work of the, of the lab, uh, and uh, conjectured uh, that uh, or are not uh, tested uh, in future experiments. One additional com complication arises from the style uh, is the line between the author results, uh, we make it by I in the text, uh, and the uh, collective effort uh, is uh, it we uh, somewhat uh, blurred. Uh, while it is clear that after had made the main contribution a more exclusive uh, listing of his uh, joint and uh, other experiments uh, might be uh, disabled. Uh, at uh, that, there is no conclusion section of at all. Traditionally, the section would list uh, the main uh, obtained result, chapter 5. Uh, on the final model, summarize uh, the observation, but rather implicit side. Um, yeah, thank you. I would like to answer about the contribution, uh, about the contribution question. So it was a question from uh, Mikhail Sergeyevich Gelfand, and we've discussed this before my pre-defense in Skoltek. Uh, so I remember you recommended me to use I in conditions where uh, all well, where the result was obtained in, just by the presenting author, and we when it is a result of uh, joint efforts uh, of my colleagues of our group. And uh, throughout the text, I use the scheme. So I and we means that it was only my experiment or experiment where my colleagues also contributed. And of course, it was a um, large work, uh, and many people contributed the presented results, and I would like to acknowledge them, of course. So uh, the whole project was initiated by Ksenia Cvitkova, Ksenia Leo, and she uh, cloned Brex system and created the Brex out clothing that we are using. So Mikhail Matlashov, together with him, we uh, constructed streptac uh, plasmids and performed initial cooldown experiments. So uh, Julia Gordieva uh, uh, revealed that Brex uh, relies on a mutilation for self non self discrimination and created the lambda phage induction system. So, Alena Drobiaska also contributed a lot to the study of Brex complexes and uh, purification of Brex proteins and its interaction with OCR. Uh, the T3 project was carried uh, together with Alexander Andriana, who is now a PhD student at Skoltech, and Mikhail Skutil just recently uh, began to work on P1 DAR system. Uh, and also, uh, a lot of Colleagues and collaborators contributed to this work, so I am grateful to Dr. Karen Maxwell and Maggie Smith for uh, so potassium uh, efflux experiments were carried during internship to the group of Karen Maxwell. So we have collaborators who performed PAC biosequencing, uh, Nicholas Yero, Nikolai Ivanov at Philip Morris International. Uh, we should thank uh, Maria Selmer for joint work on Brex uh, on some maze complexes with MedK and also colleagues who shared uh, the structures, uh, sorry, the uh, plasmids, phages, or expertise. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of people who are involved in this work. Uh, Lukyanov Konstantin Anatolievich, what is the reason for the OD increase for the Brex T7-1 flip uh, at the late, late stage uh, stages uh, in FIG uh, 28C? Uh, yeah, thank you for this question, uh, because it gives me a possibility to tell you a small story. Uh, it's not 
uh, there is nothing special, specific in this uh, T71 flip for H, but it is rather a general phenomenon. And there also is selection of H-resistant mutants. So often in uh, experiments when we have uh, phage infection, we can see this uh, restoration of bacterial growth. And at one point, I even decided to study this uh, more systematically. So I performed a large-scale uh, infection of Brex minus and Brex plus cells with phage T7 and high uh, multiplicity of infection. And indeed, at the late stages, uh, we observe this uh, restoration of growth. So if we play this uh, bacterial cultures, Brex minus, quite a few of them survive. Uh, in case of Brex, uh, almost all cultures survive. And we see that the phenotype of uh, the cells uh, is changing. So if we replace the cells, they uh, obtain such mucoid uh, phenotype. And we have sequenced uh, about 15 of such uh, mutants to determine uh, what mutations have produced this phenotype. And one of the understood pathways ways is uh, RCS, uh, regulatory, uh, like phosphorylase. Uh, so this RCS pathway controls the cell surface and also production of colonic acid. So I may predict this, the cells overproduce capsule associated with colonic acid. Uh, because the mutation accumulated in the um, components of this phosphorylase. Uh, but also we have mutations in some predicted or not studied genes, like some genes are predicted to encode exopolysaccharides. Uh, but yeah, that's quite an interesting phenomenon which is not yet completely studied and understood. Thank you. <coughs> in supple uh, supplementary finger 16, uh, uh, bottom planes uh, G55A, G55S uh, show SMS about the uh, type of age red uh, curves, uh, which are quite different from such curves in the other uh, panels. So what is the reason for this difference? Yeah, thank you for the question. So, uh, why we have different behavior, different growth curves for um, some ACE well type of age? The reason is because uh, these two mutants, they were created much later. Uh, we additionally after obtaining of this structure by our colleagues, they predicted that this residue might be important. So it is just another experiment, and uh, many conditions might be slightly different, like uh, uh, concentration of the inducer, amount of phage added, that's why they behave differently, but we do not use uh, these mutants in the final uh, conclusions, because they did not produce quite interesting results. Okay. Uh, did you try to estimate the uh, approximate number of molecules of Brex protein per cell? Yes, thank you for the question. So, uh, not we, we did not try to um, like predict or measure the amount of Brex proteins, but I can give you two answers uh, to this question. First one is, uh, so we had performed a qPCR to estimate the expression of E. coli uh, HS Brex genes. Uh, so, uh, we studied how efficient is expression of Brex cluster in its native background of E. coli HS. Uh, again, this was done by my colleagues. Uh, but relative to host gene raw, we can see that like at stationary phase, there is about 10 times more uh, Brex transcripts, which means that they are quite abundant. Uh, but when we perform uh, a normal page, SDS page of lysates of Brex culture, we can actually see uh, the presence of this major components of Brex system, Brex X and Brex C, which I suggest um, tells us that they are quite abundant in bacterial cell. But we did not try to um, more precisely estimate the amount. Okay, of okay. I mean, uh, this is sufficient, not just one or two yeah. proteins, just abundant. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Minor remarks, uh, preparation for other membrane via bicycle on VIA was introduced but then not used in the text. Some references in the list uh, are complete. In Ref7, the journal name Nature uh, Proceed uh, was noted uh, instead the Nate uh, Ref. Uh, no, so on. Uh, Dear members of the dissertation council, all of us sequence review are possible and I ask for your permission to make a brief review for the following review. Okay. Uh, conclusion of the organization that the, where the approbation was carried out. Uh, the Monas non-profit organization of higher education, Skolko Institute of Science and Technology. 
uh, seeking by the doctor of biology co-chair of the life science PhD program committed, Professor uh, Grifant Mikhail. Approved both by associate uh, provost uh, dean of education, professor of uh, uh, practice uh, Clement uh, Fortin. The dissertation breaks a different system from the uh, E. coli uh, HC and its uh, virus encoded inhibitor by Joe Messiah is recommended by for defeat for the a uh, degree of candidate of biological science, research area 03, 01, 03, molecular biology, field of knowledge 06, 06, 01, biological science. Uh, review from the lead organization, Institute of Molecular Genetics of National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute. Uh, Signed by doctor, doctor of Biology, Head of Laboratory of Molecular Genetics of Microorganism, uh, Kubachinsky Andrei Vladimirovich, approved by Scientific uh, Secretary Institute of Molecular Genetics of National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute, Andreeva L.E. Uh, the content of the dissertation fully corresponded to the speciality of 03-01-03 molecular biology. The dissertation is uh, completed research of higher high scientific uh, importance. The dissertation meets the requirement of the regulation of the, for the awards of academic degrees of candidate of science, doctor of science at MIPT. Uh, this of the it's a, it's appropriate for the defense and uh, its author, Isaiah Fartyom Borisovich, uh, devoted to be uh, aware of the scientific degree of candidate of biolog biological science. Lead organization, Institute of Molecular Genetics of National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute. Uh, the dissertation is well written and well presented, and uh, minor additional remark uh, to do uh, to do not diminish uh, the scientific significance uh, and uh, vid validity of the study. Uh, it should be noted that the uh, conclusion section divided from the common form format, uh, which usually include a few brief points to sum summarize the main result and find it, but rather present a short summary and discussion on the result together this uh, hypothesis for future studies. Uh, there is indeed very uh, incongruation for the future work, but uh, suits it, uh, pre uh, a presentation of the principal uh, conclusion would also be very help helpful to the reader. External uh, reviews. The thesis received uh, two open responses. Manukov Ilyad, uh, doctor of Biological Science, or the head of Laboratory of Molecular Genetics, deputy head of uh, Department of Biological Center for the Study of Molecular Mechanism of Age and Age-Related uh, Disease, Moscow Institute of Physical Technology, uh, Klimuk Evgeny, uh, candidate of Biological Science, senior researcher, Laboratory of Regulation of Gene Expression of Prokaryotic Mobile Elements, Institute of Molecular Genetics of National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute. There are no comment or questions uh, in the received reviews. Maybe additional questions? Uh, dear council members, have you additional questions, comments? Please. No comments, no questions. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, thank you, supervisor. Do I need a mic or do I just speak this way? Just speak this way. All right. So, Artyom is now his, finishing his fourth year in a PhD program at Small Tech. Before that, he was there for two years as a master's student, right? So, I know him for six years. Uh, I hope he enjoyed having me as an advisor as much as I enjoyed having him. So I think he is an exceptional, uh, I want to say young scientist, but I think he's just an exceptional scientist. He has a keen interest in the way uh, bacteria interact with their viruses. And mostly for historic reasons, he chosen to st study Brex, which, which in a way worked towards his disadvantage because it's just a very difficult problem. So 
I can't say that as a result of this work, he figured out, for example, how Brex works, but then nobody has, right? So this just turned out to be a very difficult uh, problem. However, in the process of trying to figure out uh, uh, the answer to this question, he made a huge amount uh, of uh, outstanding scientific contributions uh, by, because of his ability to capitalize on results which may be only tangentially related to the main purpose of his research, but because of his keen interest, he would pursue those, and in doing so, he will get new data uh, which which is interesting in itself and become uh, news uh, leads for scientific investigation, right? So, so I think he's a very versatile and meticulous and uh, uh, scientist who pays uh, attention to detail and, and capitalizes on this to, to his own advantage. Uh, I said that he is a scientist as opposed to a young scientist because so he also has a managerial streak to him, which is great. Uh, he has multiple grants. Uh, personal grants uh, from various sources, uh, and in fact, during the last maybe three years, maybe more, he has his own empire, essentially a group of people, whether graduate students, undergrads, or high school students, who all work with him uh, based on his own ideas, so he's fiercely independent, and these people grow with uh, Artyom's uh, guidance, and like he said, many end up you know, graduating from their schools and then joining Scoltec and being successful there. Uh, he was also able to set up on his own multiple scientific collaborations, which did not require my involvement, whether this was an Israeli collaboration or the one most recent with uh, Sweden, which again allows him to drive his projects forward by keeping the uh, leading role on the project by bringing in people with necessary expertise to contribute to his project. And these are all, you know, established people at professorial positions who would just be keen to talk to him uh, and to do projects while with him and for him. So, and, and, and that last streak, which is very important, or at least has been up to now, uh, for his scientific career, uh, has been uh, developed by Artyom because of the possibilities that Skoltek had offered him. So he was, he visited multiple labs abroad where he did uh, work for sometimes extended periods of time, but again, never losing sight and always uh, working on his project, right? So he wasn't going there to, to work on, for somebody else, but rather he used the other labs to contribute to his projects, and he established these long-lasting uh, collaborative relationships, which I'm sure will help him out uh, in the future. So uh, to sum this up, uh, I believe that he certainly deserves a PhD and, you know, if, if I were to compare him to students, international students at his career stage, I would say that he's certainly within 1%, and I think he has a great potential in front of him as an independent scientist. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Who would like to take part in discussion? Correct. Okay. It's necessary to elect the county commission of three people and the chairman of the... Ah, excuse me. Artyom, you can say some words. Um, yeah, okay, thank you. So I already went Final through... words. Final words. So Final. I already go through the acknowledgement section, but of course I need to thank Konstantin, uh, my supervisor, uh, for setting the scientific problems that I've been working and for setting, for creating the environment which is really stimulating to uh, achieve your goals to try to understand, uh, to try to study something new and for your kind word, uh, words about uh, my results at the end. So I also need to thank probably um, uh, Svetlana Dubilei and Yekaterina Savitskaya uh, because large part, yes. yes. We need Mikhail. He's back. Mm -hmm. So a large part of this uh, dissertation was done in a uh, teaching collaboratory of Skoltec, which is a new uh, lab unit, which was organized by Ekaterina Savitskaya and Svetlana Dubilei. And Ekaterina really supported us at the early stages of uh, establishing this new laboratory. Uh, and yeah, also I need to thank members of our 
of, of um, laboratory, so many people um, helped me with the advice and helped me to master novel methods uh, which were applied in this work. And of course, I need to thank uh, our group, so students who are now working with me. And despite all the problems that we have uh, with Russian science nowadays, I hope we will be able to finish what we started and yeah, we are set to um, obtain the results, the final results of, for this work because a lot of questions that were raised during my PhD studies are still unanswered and I can imagine that these are quite interesting scientific problems to, to pursue. So we still have the possibility to do this. Thank you. Um, it's necessary to elect a counting commission of three people and chairman of the counting commission. I propose the, the diocese of uh, Lazarev Vasily Nikolaevich, Gelfand Mikhail Sergeyevich, and Lukyanov Konstantin Anatolyevich. I propose to elect me as the chairman of the counting commission. If no one has any objections, let's approve the composition of the commission by voting. Raise your hands for any four. Mikhail Sergeyevich. Mikhail Sergeyevich. Oops, sorry. Okay. What? You need to vote. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I've written, as I've written in my uh, report, I am uh, supporting the idea of awarding the degree. Okay, begin to. А что нам, простите, с этим бюллетенем делать, который нам пришел, решение? Все, вы проголосовали, поэтому ага, сейчас мы да. будем принимать голосование, результаты. И, извините, я сейчас просто пытаюсь вывести на экран, ну, поэтому... А, ну, либо так. Да, можешь просто пригласить, я попрошу у Артема. Артем, я вам на почту отправила результаты. Можете, пожалуйста, вывести на экран? Based on the result of secret vote of the members of dissertation council, four five votes against zero votes, uh, invalid votes zero. Okay. Uh, if no one has any objections, let's approve the results by vote. Raise your hands for any favor. Mikhail Sergeyevich. <laughs> Thank you. He has two votes. Um, Alex, you have been provided with a draft of the conclusion of the dissertation council for review. If no one has any objection, let approve the results by vote. Raise your hands for any favor. Mikhail Sergeyevich. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, uh, based on the 
based on results of the secret vote of the members of the dissertation council, uh, we decided that the submitted dissertation work meets the requirements of the regulation on awarding academic degrees of candidate of, candidate of science, doctor of science at MIPT, and to award its author, uh, Isaiah Artyom Borisovich, the scientific degree of candidate of biological science in the specialty uh, 030103 molecular biology. Okay, congratulations. Artyom and Kostya, my congratulations. Thank Good you, luck. Can we take a picture? while well, these people are still there. Коллеги, не будете возражать, если мы рядом с вами встанем и кто-нибудь Я могу сфотографировать. Давайте я Я прощаюсь с активным. До свидания. Всего доброго. А вы не придете к нам? Ну давайте. Так, а Возли может... убежал уже. Ой. Все убежали. Ой, не уходите, пожалуйста, два кости. Давайте фотографируем.